boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video for something super lit. Don't know why I'm spinning all about like a maniac. But today we are going to be reacting to Nightwish again. Song called The Poet and the Pendulum. Yeah! Giving y'all a little gift, a little enjoyment, a little bit of content for your day. So just take this next 10 to 15 minutes, sit back, enjoy yourself, take a break from the stressors of life, take a break from all those bills, from the fight that you just had with your siblings, from the fight you had with your parents, your family, whatever the hell's going on. Take a break, enjoy this video, and let's jump right the fuck into it. Nightwish, the poet and the pendulum, link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. Now, I think that Nightwish is one of the most skillful, out there, crazy, best fucking bands in all of metal. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? I'm just gonna put that out there. Let's go. 14 minutes! I gotta turn this all the way up. All the- I'm keep- I keep pushing it even though it's maxed out. Damn it. Sounds like a movie, oh my god. Oh my god. Get the fuck out! Holy shit.
So I'm noticing as I'm going through the lyrics that it's split up into parts. So that was just part two, now we're on to part three. I want to know what the production cost is to put on a show like this because it is absolutely incredible to watch. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got so into that. Holy shit. Go! my funeral whenever anything leaves her mouth I feel like my ears have goosebumps my ears are having orgasms that's what's happening that chorus is so catchy
So a little bit of research shows that Tuomas Holopainen, I butcher that name, he's the main composer of Nightwish. The research says that the author of the lyrics is expressing his feelings about the current situation of the band. So that's just more so for me than, or if y'all, if y'all didn't know that, that's what they're talking about, but. Can this band have a broader range? Can they have more intense, like, what the fuck, dude? Can they give another band a chance? Cause this is absolutely incredible. Lord. Such amazing playing, I love that. I wish that they could just write like a script song for my life. They could write a soundtrack to my life, it'd be awesome. Or just follow me wherever I go playing some shit. So epic, holy shit. Holy shit! Goosebumps, bro! Hella goosebumps! Oh my god! Oh god! That was a fucking masterpiece. Never has a band ever made me experience so many like physical manifestations with go I still have goosebumps, can you see? There were two times where I don't even remember being alive. As I was watching this, I was like, so I don't know what I was thinking, I don't know if I was listening, I was just staring and trying to take everything in and then I had to like snap out of it. That happened a couple of times and- Holy shit. Two things, props to Finland. Second thing is symphonic metal is like, 
it's gotta be my favorite now. That is so unreal, it is a huge production. The, the production costs for that concert must have been crazy because they have the all the things going on in the background, the storm, the playing, the lights. It's, it's, if I met this band, I would be like, and I would run away because I wouldn't know what the fuck to say, wouldn't know what the hell to do. This song was incredible. I don't really know much about the meaning of it, okay? So I'll be honest, I'm in up front. I was so encapsulated in the playing, did not know what the hell this song was about. A little bit of research shows that this song is one of many explicitly acknowledged self-portraits of self-references by Nightwish frontman Tuomas Halopainen. It's a metaphoric description of what it felt like to fire former singer Tarja Tarunin. Tuomas' relationship with the band and its singer are the subjects of the songs Crucible fiction and resurrection play. The song also chronicles the life of E.A. Poe who raged at God for losing his mother, birth and stepmother and wife to tuberculosis. Okay, so that makes sense. So part one, you got the White Lands of Empathetica. Two is Home. Part three is the Pacific. Part four is Dark Passion Play. Part five is Mother and Father. And holy shit, what group splits their song up into parts? That is unbelievable. This is so unprecedented to my knowledge and it's just absolutely crazy, dude. The musicianship, I cannot I don't, I don't have words to describe how I'm feeling and I don't have words to accurately describe this band's ability to play, ability to come up with the concept for a song. All what they do as a whole, it is fucking fascinating. That's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song, this group, this video in general. Let me know what you think about the meaning of the song and that is all I got for you today. So keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. Nightwish, holy shit. That's all. Love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. That's motherfucking facto, yeah. Peace. Run away, run away. Run away.